What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Since I'm a Halloween ends in this video here again today and I'll leave a link to this panel that I'm going to be basing this video off of down in the description. If you want to go listen to it, it's like 30 minutes with Jamie Lee Curtis, Jason Blum and one of the panel hosts. But what she was going on about in this uh, panel with Jason Blum and Jamie Lee Curtis who talked about uh the fact that one of them is going to be watching the movie in a couple weeks and the fact that also jamie lee curtis and herself talked about the first time laurie strode had died and went over something that i was starting to question about it pertaining to whether or not michael and laurie will indeed die together so she went on talking about how with the original demise of laurie in halloween resurrection how it seems like she found out that there was something during the production of h2o where she found out midway and she's talked about this before in the past there's even an i think there's a few articles you can actually find for 2018 where she admitted this where she did h2o for money but in this newest uh panel talk it sounds like she's mostly talking about she did resurrection for money mostly as well because with h2o from what she said and just from how i always remember her talking about it it was mostly her wanting to come on and commemorate the 20th anniversary of the original movie but then midway through production you know after going in with the mindset oh this is the end i'm gonna get to kill the boogeyman she found out oh there's actually a contract in place where michael can't die so then going into resurrection you know she demanded a certain amount of money uh and she went on about Lori dying and how she felt that it would be appropriate because she perpetuated this idea about Michael dying. So she needed to pay for that. And she just thought that Lori couldn't live with herself over the fact that she killed another innocent man and not Michael. So going into that and considering that contract that was in place, which I've heard about in the past, where there was a contract that Michael Myers couldn't die. I think I've also seen people leave comments about this in my videos. Does that still hold up? right now what is going on with a contractual obligation or anything related to that matter of michael myers not being someone who can die on screen and if that's intact is that already of course something we should be considering as we go into halloween ends that michael will not die because that's something that's actually still intact or is something going to again happen where things have changed Michael and Lori will indeed die together because at least in that way you don't have just someone completely dethroning the shape as much as you have someone going down with a sinking ship but then again something could be done where you are at least going to be confirmed to you as a viewer that Lori died but maybe Michael is still out there you again will get to see both of them not make it out alive but then again something could happen where it's a hint that the shape is still out there the boogeyman is still present you can't kill the boogeyman and then that will of course just lead to endless discussions about whether michael died or not you can get it confirmed to you that Lori died and then it also just makes me think of how she seemed a little bit of course not not something that she was in agreement with during midway through production where she found out about that so it seems like there's a lot more appreciation of course here with the transparency going into this new trilogy uh, as she's been involved with these last three projects from Jason Blum and David Gordon Green, Danny McBride and Blumhouse in general, John Carpenter being back involved. It seems like she's more appreciative of the transparency going on this time around. So as opposed to her thought process, then if there is indeed something that is in place where Michael can't die, I guess in her mindset, maybe if this is the case, she is fine now knowing that michael can't die and she's perfectly fine to die by the knife once again from the shape but done in a more respectful way as it pertains to being transparent with her as an actress up front and just how it's portrayed on screen so that way it doesn't feel like something that goes against anything that's already been established in the series as it pertains to the original trilogy uh, the original movie and david gordon green's movies uh so Michael and Lori dying together I know that seems like to be the biggest thing people are considering and I think honestly with people considering it if it does happen I still think it's going to be shocking for a lot of people because of the fact that they actually did it they actually killed both of them at the same time and I think it'll also of course be even more shocking if it is indeed just confirmed yes Michael did die there is no hints about him still being alive or anything like that the boogeyman just died halloween ends actually will of course live up to its title quite literally by confirming full force no if ands or buts michael died Lori also died too case is closed 
that's the end of it. The one who was obsessed over the person that they thought was coming after them all these years is gone and the unstoppable force or the thought to be unstoppable force was proven to be quite stoppable and Haddonfield is going to move on into for endless peace. We'll of course probably see how Allison is impacted by it, all these other things. If Allison makes it out of ends alive, which again, I think would be the more appropriate thing to do. If anyone is going to die, it, it would need to, I think, be Lori again. If that is the decision they decide to make, I don't think it should be Allison. If you're someone who has written a movie where you're going to kill another stroll woman, I think the 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 eldest would need or the oldest would need to be the one that goes so that the youth can carry on the legacy. And it can just, of course, be a reflection of how she has grown over time. She's had so much loss, seeing how she comes out on the other side from all of it and how the narrative will end up wrapping up from her perspective. That's just someone that's just coming from me as it pertains to someone who will go out of the way to decide that, okay we're going to kill another another one of these stroll women jason blum also was on the panel talking about how he hasn't seen the movie i guess uh maybe he has maybe it's a rough draft but he made comments saying he's going to be watching a cut of the movie in a couple weeks so maybe we'll start to hear some things about this movie even further after he sees it why i think that might be is i'm thinking of maybe some people in attendance i don't know what capacity he's going to be watching it in but again maybe there's someone who will come out of this in two weeks saying that hey you know jason blum saw it i saw it with him and here's what went on in it or something like that we still don't even have a lot of cast members that have been announced i've also started to think that maybe scream six takes this approach but i i hope they don't halloween ends being so secretive really just does have have me of course very curious about a lot of stuff going into the movie of course the cast what direction the movie is going to take and of course, what will the fates be of Michael and Lori? Do you think they're gonna actually die together? Do you think that there's still something in place where Michael can't die? And Jamie Lee herself is of course, is more fine with that now because of the transparency that seems to be going on here much better than her time with H2O and Resurrection. But let me know what you guys think about all that down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video